Man, there are a lot of black women that are enraged uh, after the NFL draft and these young black athletes, you know, dating or courting white women. Let's talk about it. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, today I want to make this thing make sense because some of these arguments and stances that black women take don't make no sense. You know, man, these athletes that make it to the league, man, that's like one in a million chances. And what happens is a lot of these black women won't give these men the time of day while they're in college, you know, in high school, they won't stick around for that for that one in a million chance that that person will make it. You got to think about it. Man, I'm passing a sports complex on the way headed to Oklahoma City. And in the summertime there's thousands of athletes playing games there, whether it be baseball, football, you know, basketball. And when you are invested in a sports activity and you are trying to make a career out of it, you're hoping that you get a chance, man, you're not going to have a whole lot of money. You know, you hear these athletes living in dorms, uh, four and five basketball players, uh, you know, some of them six, seven, you know, eating ramen noodles, barely scraping by, a woman will look at you then and call you dusty. You know, an uh, uh, average black woman is not gonna stick by you. That's why I said the average black woman is not gonna stick by you through that because she has been conditioned that, okay, well, let me go get with the guy that's got the rims on his car. Let me go with the guy that can take me out in court and buy me stuff and and treat me like a princess that I am. And then these black women realize, man, you got played to the left because you weren't patient. And these dudes that was tricking off on you, they don't want true commitment from you. So what do you do? These athletes, you know, man, they, they, they mess with who's messing with them. And if the black women are not messing with them because they're impatient and, and, and talk down on them, who wants somebody like that around when you need to be motivated in order to uh, continue the path of excellence to get to that level? And these black women are saying, well, these white women only want the men for the money. And the fact of the matter is, your ass does too. Because uh, when you get with these men, and give your body up and you find out that they don't have the resource to be a provider, then what do you do? Call them dusty, call them broke, call them no good, call them lazy, talk down about you make more than them, but you had an opportunity. All of these athletes that are with white women, black women have had their shot at. And you know what they did? They messed it up. They walked away from it. And now that somebody else has got it and their grass is not greener on the other side, they're pissed off. You know, to make this math make sense, the argument that black women have uh, attacking white women about white women wanting the man for the resources, what woman wants a man that's not a provider? What woman wants a man that's not a provider? So if, if, even if you look at a biblical sense, a woman should be vetting a man because he has resources, he has fruit. See, the problem is a lot of black women have gotten with these men that cannot produce fruit, and now you're trying to attack uh, the women that are discerning and can recognize a man with fruit that will be a provider that they're not gonna have any problems out of because you got a bum-ass baby daddy that 
that you know make make five hundred dollars a month and can't pay for the kids that he didn't plan it up in you. That's what's pissing you off. And and what happens is there is a bitter spirit in a lot of these women when they when they see these men get their opportunity come draft time. When they see these uh, these athletes uh, showcase their woman and that woman is playing her role, it pisses them off. You know why? Because they couldn't play their role. They walked away from an opportunity and now they can't find one. They can't throw a rock and hit a good man. That's really what pisses them off. And this is not all black women. This is for the black women that's creating this content, attacking white women for making smarter choices about who they give their body to than you. You lay down and let let uh, uh, the, the, the wino at the doggone uh, corner store skeet up in you. You let a man who was a criminal put a baby in you. And this, you, you got a baby daddy in jail, but you're mad at this woman for choosing a man that don't have no kids, this man that stayed the course, and now she's gonna help propel him to get him a little bit further. Just bitter is what they are, just bitter. And there's no self-awareness, there's no accountability, because like I said, a lot of these black women have had their shot. Mike Jones said, back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me. And that's, that's what that means, that's what Mike Jones was talking about. Back when I didn't have it, back before I got the million dollar deal, became a multimillionaire, back before I was making hundreds of thousands. Man, you didn't give me the time of day. I showed interest in you, you know, he said, no, nah, you went over here, you went over here to the guy that could take you and buy you some bath and body works and this and that. And the brother was genuinely telling you, hey, I don't have it right now. You know, I gotta focus, you know, you, 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 Instead of a brother being able to focus on his craft, whether it be sports, basketball, or profession or career, you want these men that don't have nothing going for themselves to lay up under you all the time so you can control and manipulate them. Checkmate, checkmate. Closer to y'all ministries kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.